morning from Universal Studios. Sarah and I are here today to explore all the Christmas decorations and all the Christmas offerings. We're gonna check out the balloons. We're gonna check out some food. We definitely wanna see Hogwarts and the castle lit up at night. So we are here for the full day. We're gonna take you on all these adventures with us. And to start out, we are here early because we wanna get on Hagrid's. And after that, it's gonna be all about Christmas. So thank you so much for joining. Can't wait to take you on this next adventure. Hagrid's this is one of our favorite rides we definitely like doing it like as our first thing in the morning so we'll do that and go from there we are walking pretty much straight through the Hagrid's queue and it's technically just about like official park open so we're hoping we're gonna get right on it we'll let you guys know how long it takes we're so excited We just got off of Hagrid's and as always, it is an awesome ride. It was especially nice this morning because it was just a complete walk on. It took us maybe five minutes to walk through the full queue. We are now about to head through the Hogwarts ride. I'm probably not gonna ride it because it does make me a little motion sick, but I will check out the queue. It's my favorite queue here in Universal. Sarah's gonna hop on it and after that, we're gonna do some more exploring. So Nikki, a team member here at Universal Studios, just gave us a ton of amazing facts and little tidbits to look for items in the castle. I know one of them I really want to look for is in Dumbledore's office. The Sword of Gryffindor is in there and it's an actual film prop. So she can't confirm that it was like actually in the movie, but it was one of the actual film props used in the Harry Potter movies. Definitely gonna look for that. There's also um, some items from all the different Defense Against the Dark Arts teachers in that room. So. We're gonna go look for as many of the different facts, things, uh, or items I should say, that she just shared with us, so it's gonna be extra fun. All right, let's get going, see how many of these items we can find. comes a time when all of us must make a choice between what is right and what is easy. To all of us quarreling, our guests must think us most ungracious hosts. Good. All right, we just found Moody's staff. So we saw the Sword of Gryffindor in Dumbledore's office, and now we're finding some of the items here. So it's so cool. Um, excuse me, we reckon we should warn you. If you stay in much longer, you'll find yourself listening to Professor Binns go on about the history of Hogwarts. Which, it should be pointed out, is rather fascinating. And the last thing before the ride is the sorting hat. Your journey is about to start. A safe way to go. And so the Hogwarts sorting hat tells all you need to know. Hey, I'm about to go on it. quite safe. Queue for Jurassic Park's pretty short right now, so I think we're gonna head on that next. It's not that warm out today, so hopefully we don't get too wet, but it is one of our favorite rides here, especially when the line's short, so that's where we're going. All right, we are just heading through the queue, so I'm so excited to go on this one. Hopefully it don't get too wet, but I'm excited. Ah! Quietly, river plants and fish. Their hollow cranium. 
your cavity. Park. We aren't too wet, which is good. And we found our first tree. So they have different Christmas trees throughout the park. So starting our holiday stuff. We're about to go explore Seussville. The entire land is decorated for the holidays and we cannot wait to check that out. Jeff and I are just uh, starting the holiday treat trail. So this is one of the things that we really wanted to do. So it's going to be five items that we'll have to do throughout the day and I think we get a free one after we do them all so we'll try to hit them all. Um, this is uh, popcorn so it's called uh, Holiday Popcorn, um, Red Holiday Popcorn and it's here uh, right across from Spider-Man. So it just says Red Holiday so I don't know if it's just like no flavor, there is a flavor, I'm not sure. So I'm going to give it a try and I'll tell you guys what I think. I think it's just regular popcorn. So it just tastes like salted popcorn that maybe has red coloring to it, but we we're both starving, so this is perfect. And then we'll go and see where our next snack will be. We just got that popcorn and I tried it as well. It is just plain popcorn, but that is stop one of five completed. After this, there's gonna be a churro, there's a cinnamon Coke, um, there's a cake and a donut, I believe. But total, there are five stops, and we're gonna make our way through those five stops throughout the day. And Seuss Landing is decked out for the holidays. We're gonna go explore, and we're gonna enjoy our time here at Grinchmas. We are just in Seussville, and we're waiting to, waiting to meet the Grinch. Um, how we did this is we made a reservation this morning. It's free to do. Um, it just gives you a set time slot to come back uh, just to keep plenty of social distancing. And so we're in line. We're going to go meet him. We've never done this before, so excited to see how it goes. I wasn't ready. You guys couldn't warn me. Oh, they come and redo that entrance. Hold on. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, tell me where to go. All right, you're good. Go. No, you have to say action. Oh, sorry. Action. Dun, dun. Oh, there it is! Oh, very nice to see me. Thank you. Yes. Okay, that was better. That was good. That was good. Whoa, what are we doing here? Uh, we're, well, we're wondering why there's an onion under your Christmas tree. Um, because that was gifted to me. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. I know, isn't that beautiful in all its glory? It actually should be, move it, move. Oh, yes, sorry. yes, of course. It actually should be in the Christmas tree. Oh, it goes with the ornament. Perfect, that was good. Oh. Much, no, much oh, nicer. <laughs> Do you know who Max is? Yes, we know Max. Your dog. Yes. Your okay, dog. so Max thinks it would be really good for me to try to make a scrapbook. Oh, okay. My heart grew, so it's a little sore, so I've been home all day. Sure. So he says, try something new. Okay. So I'm going to take a random photo of you guys to put in the book. And if it's good enough, I'll make it the last page. Okay. Oh. I know. That's a lot of pressure. That is a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. But that's where I usually leave the book. So if it's open, I'll see you guys. Oh, oh thank perfect. You. You're welcome. We are just about to head onto the trolley. So again, I love the view that you get from here. It looks like it's a five minute wait, so it should hopefully be pretty much a walk on. Here we go, the Seuss trolley train, high in the sky, something like that. We're gonna go get a good view of the park. Woo, <laughs> the trolley train can do it. Hey, how about you? We're moving here. How about you? Can you go beep? trolley and it's just so fun. I think the decorations in Seuss Landing is my favorite of all the park. They just have so much here so we're gonna walk around explore a little bit more hopefully catch a character and then we'll definitely want to come back and check this out later tonight. Merry Christmas! We love all the decorations. They look really great. Who put them up? Did you guys put them all up? Thing one? Thing two? 
was all too, all, <laughs> yeah, I love them, they look beautiful. Thank you guys, happy holidays. We are at the front of Islands of Adventure now, and we're gonna grab our second treat, which is a, I think, cinnamon Coke of some sort. It's number two, well, it's gonna be our number two on the five for today. I'm not exactly sure what number it is on the map. We're not going in order, but we're gonna check this one out next. We just made our second stop for the treat trail, and um, I was actually a little confused with the cast member because I wasn't sure what she was saying because it's a Coke with cinnamon. Um, it is literally a bottle of Coke with cinnamon. So the other items are like a churro and a cake and a donut, which I know um, are like real items, but this is an interesting choice. I'm still gonna give it a try. Jeff had a sip. Um, he said it was okay. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's a Coke. So this one I would say, I would definitely not get this unless it was on the treat trail and we're trying to complete this, but I think Universal could have done a little better. They could have find a, found a better item for the fifth one. Before we head over to City Walk in the other park, we want to pop in the Christmas store, so we're going to go check it out. It's amazing in here. Ah, uh, so much Grinch stuff. All right, let's take a closer look at some of these trees. So you've got the Grinch here. Oh my gosh, so fun. And here's some examples of the ornaments that they have in here. So tons of gingerbread stuff right here. So I really love this tree. It has all the throwback ornaments. You have like King Kong, Jaws, and then really up there, I don't know if I can get it, is Back to the Future. This is just the best tree. So this is Harry Potter, um, but it's Quidditch themed. And it is awesome. So it has all the different items, like the bludgers and the quaffle and the um, broomsticks. And then also there's the snitch is right there, but it's so great. We are just gonna head out of Islands of Adventure for now. We might stop at City Walk along the way. I believe there was a treat stop at Voodoo Donuts. So we might try to grab that on our way to uh, Universal Studios Park. We're gonna try to come back here tonight when it's dark and all the lights are on. But for now, let's go over to Universal Studios. There's a bunch of stuff we wanna check out there. the treat trail and out of the other ones that we've done hands down I'm more excited about this one um, but we got two donuts so one is the ornament donut which is part of the actual treat trail and then we also got a pumpkin donut because I love everything pumpkin um, so I'm really excited to try that as well so I'll give them both a quick bite and let you guys know what I think so first up the ornament donut which is cute holiday with a Christmas tree We love Voodoo Donuts. Um, there might be a filling, I may not have reached it, but we'll see, but the bite was really good. All right, and now for the pumpkin. This thing is huge, look at the size of this. <laughs> All right, ready? That one's good too. I think there's pumpkin pie filling inside of it, but I'm so excited. Here's a peek of the pumpkin pie filling inside. It is really good. Stop number three is done. We are on our way over to Universal Studios Park now. The donuts were fine. They're not my favorite that I've had at Voodoo Donuts, but they've definitely been the highlight of the treat trail so far. Three down, two more to go, and a few other things to check out for the holidays here. All right, we are in Universal Studios now, and our first stop is definitely gonna be the Macy's Balloons. That's really the most exciting thing, or the most, the biggest reason why we stopped over here today is to check those out. They look like a ton of fun, and we're gonna take you with us. All right. 
right, if you're looking for the Macy's balloon experience, it's here at the Tonight Show and the Jimmy Fallon ride. Take a left by Rip Rockin' Roller Coaster, whatever the name of that roller coaster is, and it is going to be right down this walkway. We're just about to head in. It's a five minute wait, so should be able to just walk right in. So this is really cool. The floats are huge. It's so cool being able to see them. And there's characters. I think I just saw the penguin from Madagascar. Macy's balloon experience and it absolutely exceeded our expectations. It is a ton of fun. You get to go in, explore, see the balloons. There are characters. Santa's in there for you to go meet and take pictures with. Granted, you are a few feet away from him, but it was an awesome job by Universal and this is definitely a must do if you're here on the holidays. It did take us only maybe five to ten minutes to go through the full thing, so it's not a really long experience, but it is awesome. Again, we had no wait getting in, and if there is a wait, I honestly had so much fun that I would go back and wait in line and be completely happy doing so. But it is a great experience, and I am so glad that Universal decided to put this on this year because they didn't have to, and it is definitely adding to the Christmas spirit here at the parks. This is stop number four from the treat trail. So we just got the pumpkin spice churro. It comes with a frosting to dip it in, but I'm just gonna try the churro, the pumpkin churro plain. I'm disappointed. You can't really taste the pumpkin very much, but maybe with the frosting it'll be better. So the pumpkin churro was also not that great. Similar to what Sarah had to say, that's how I felt about it. I will say though that if you use the frosting, the frosting did make it a lot better. But overall, I haven't been too impressed with this uh, treat trail. We have one more left to go. We'll check that out. Hopefully that's the best one and we just saved best for last. But so far, it's not been that great. I'm kind of disappointed with it. Up next, we are heading into the Christmas Tribute Store. We did this at Halloween um, for the Halloween theme one, and we were really impressed by it. So I'm excited to go in, check it out, and see what they've done. Here we are in the Christmas market, the first full room in the Tribute Store. And in this Tribute Store, there's just a ton of Christmas merchandise. Christmas decorations, Christmas trees, and everything Christmas. Room number two is themed with the Grinch, so this is much more my speed. The holiday version kind of scared me a little bit, but this is awesome. I'm excited to look through this room. Looks like room number three is going to be our favorite. It is Harry Potter themed. so. Everything Christmas Harry Potter is gonna be in this third room. Over here we have all the house themed ornaments. So here is Hufflepuff. And we've got Ravenclaw. 
And on the other side of the tree, we have Slytherin. And last but not least, Gryffindor. I think I found my favorite item in this whole thing. So they have these stuffed animals of the Harry Potter characters and it's amazing. So behind me, I think there's Harry, Hermione, and Luna is extra good. And right after Harry Potter is the tree farm. We've got tons of Christmas trees and the actual name is Earl the Squirrel's Tree Farm where nuts about trees and it is just filled with Christmas trees all decorated different colors. It's a pretty awesome location and they've got some food. If you're hungry here, you can get it at the sweet treat stand. That shop was really fun. So I love that they do the extra themed um, store. Walking through all the different rooms and seeing all the different decorations and the merchandise is really fun. So that's definitely something I would check out if you're here. Um, we're going to go walk around a little bit more and I'm really excited to see everything at night all lit up. <laughs> over to Diagon Alley. We were checking out the Gringotts Bank, all the decorations, and we're just kind of exploring a bit here. It is really quiet today. It's getting a little bit later in the afternoon, but the wait for Gringotts is only 20 minutes. I don't think we're gonna get on it today because there's still a bunch we wanna check out and explore for the holiday stuff, but it's been a beautiful day here. Nice weather, low crowds. We're enjoying ourselves, and the decorations around here are awesome. We're gonna keep exploring and thanks so much for following along. One of my favorite things about either of these Harry Potter areas in the Universal Parks is definitely getting a butter beer. So we're gonna grab one right back here before we head over to explore the ET ride. So I got my butter beer. I get the cold one. I don't like the frozen one as much as this. And let's try it. Yeah, it's my, it's my favorite thing in I think all of Universal Studios. I just cannot get over how beautiful today is and how low the crowd levels are. We just left the Harry Potter area over here at Universal Studios, and we are going to head over to ET and check out a crepe because we've had a lot of sweet foods. We're going to get, I think, the Thanksgiving crepe as some actual food, ride ET, and then kind of decide what we're going to do until this evening where we check out the castle all lit up with some Christmas lights and just enjoy the evening here at the parks. The line for crepes was pretty short, so we decided to jump in this, get that, and then head over to ET. So we're just gonna do this first since it seemed really quick. And it is, they make them fresh right there. I am so excited for the seasonal crepes. So again, it's basically like turkey stuffing, cranberry sauce, all of that in there. So I'm gonna give it a bite. I think a lot of the stuff's at the bottom, but I'll still try my best to get as much as I can right here. Mm. It's really good. So I would recommend it if it's here when you're here. to get on ET. I love this one.
photos. I like the tree and the Santa hat. Oh yeah. Oh, and the socks. I didn't even see the socks. Those are nice. We just made it into the Today Cafe. This is gonna be the last item on our tree trail that we need before we can redeem it. Um, it is a wreath cake, so I'm excited to see what that is. Okay, last item of the treat trail, and this is probably the one I, when I saw the items that were included that I was most excited for. So it's just called a wreath cake. I have no idea what flavor it is, but it's really pretty. All right, and I am going to give it a try. So let's see. Mm, that's awesome. So I think there's, it's peppermint. So there's peppermint flavor to it. Hands down my favorite item of the trail. Like this I would get even if I wasn't doing the treat trail. So I think that will do it for over here at Universal Studios. We're gonna head back to Islands of Adventure to finish out the night. There's only a couple hours left, so we're gonna go take advantage of it. our treat trail so hands down the standout was the cake at the end the other items I don't even know if I'd recommend them but the cake was really good but now we're gonna go turn this in and see what the bonus item is we just finished up the treat trail and so um, we have all of our stamps and once you have all the items then the last item is free so we got a free cookie here um, just in the Jurassic Park area so doing the trail um, is free to do uh, minus the cost of the item so that was really nice it was a fun thing to do even though a couple of the items we didn't really care for the standout was definitely the cake the cookie is really pretty it's a bright uh, green color so I'm sure it's gonna be a mess and we also got a drink to go with it. So I'm gonna give the drink a try. The cookie I'll save for off screen because it's gonna go everywhere. Um, but the drink is uh, the Birds of Paradise. So let's see how it is. Ooh, it's nice. So it's a little strong. I think all the alcohol's on the top, but I like the flavors a lot. So this is a perfect relaxation um, before ending our night, hopefully over in the Harry Potter area. Guests of Hogwarts, hundreds of years ago, the Triwizard Tournament was established. This legendary event brings together the three largest schools of wizardry to compete in a series of magical contests. These contests are not for the faint-hearted. First, our friends from the north, please greet the proud sons of the Darmstrong Institute! <laughs> to grab some hopefully hot butter beer and fish and chips and get a seat relax and then uh, enjoy the night 
We just got our hot butter beer, so we're sitting here in the three, three broomsticks. We're still waiting for the fish and chips, but in the meantime, I'm gonna give this one a try. I don't care for the cold butter beer and the frozen butter beer. Jeff loves those, but I'm gonna give this a try and see how I like it. It's delicious. I don't wanna share, Jeff's gonna have to get his own. So the hot butter beer, I love it. It's like a caramel butterscotchy taste, but it's awesome. For dinner tonight, I got the fish and chips. We've heard from a bunch of people that it is really good. So I've never had it here and I wanted to give it a try. Let's see how I like it. It's really good. It's, it's not too oily. The fish seems fresh enough. It's, it's good. I would get it here. I enjoy this quite a bit. We just finished up our meal. We're outside and all the lights are on. All right, the castle's all lit up here at night. Park's open for about 10 more minutes, and we're just gonna explore a little bit and check out the Christmas decorations. There's even a tree lit up there on the top spire. Here we are at the entrance of Hogsmeade, looking back in, you can see all the beautiful lights and in the distance, the city or the town and the castle. Pretty awesome view here from the beginning of the entrance. The last place for us to check out at night before we call it is Seuss Landing. So I'm really excited to go check out all there. Again, the decorations in there are my favorite, so I'm excited to see it at night. We just made it to the front of the park and we had an amazing day. So thank you all so much for flying along with us. We honestly were so impressed with how much stuff Universal had for us to do. So there's tons of characters. We loved seeing the Macy's balloons. Um, walking around seeing all the decorations was really fun. It was a really great day. Um, we uh, did a really good day. We enjoyed the treats too. So even though we didn't care for some of the treats, it was still a fun uh, holiday treat trail to do and just wander around. But if you're thinking of coming here for the holidays, we had an awesome time, so I definitely would recommend it. But thank you all again so much for following along with us. Uh, happy holidays to all you, and we can't wait to take you on our next adventure.